Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to talk about the analysis tools in Arctic Studio 18. These tools can be used to compare a CAD model to a mesh, or in those situations where you don't have a CAD model, you can compare a mesh to another mesh, and also you can even do a 2D profile comparison as well. So what we have here is a 3D scan of a part that I reverse engineered in another video. And if you have some time, I invite you to watch that video because I reverse engineered this part from start to finish inside of SOLIDWORKS. And that's the CAD model that I'm going to use to compare to this mesh. So the first thing I'm going to do is import the CAD model. I can bring in a step, IGIS, or Parasolid file. And as you can see, the CAD model is aligned to the origin but the mesh is not. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and click on the Align tab. And I want to make the CAD model the fixed entity, and the mesh file will be the moving entity. Now, because there's plenty of features on the part, I can use the Auto Alignment option. And click Align. And as you can see, it does a great job of aligning the mesh to the CAD model. Go ahead and exit this. So the next step is to create a distance map. Some people refer to this as a color map or deviation map, but it essentially compares your mesh file to your CAD model. So for this, we can click on the measures tab and click on distance map. You can compare the distance or the thickness of the part, give it a name and select the entities that you want to compare. The search distance is the minimum and maximum for your color bar. Now, there is two calculation modes, shortest distance and along normals. And I created this little graphic here just to show the difference between the two. Usually, I select the along normals method. And basically, what the software does is it creates a normal axis for the CAD surface, shown in black. And it intersects it with the mesh surface, shown in red. And the axis here is shown in yellow. And wherever that axis intersects the mesh surface, that's the distance that'll show up on your color map. For the shortest distance method, the software creates a circle from that initial point, and wherever that circle is tangent to the mesh surface, that's the distance that the software is going to use for your color map. Now, there isn't one method that's more accurate than the other. There's simply two different calculation methods for the color map. So you click on Calculate, and the software will give you a color map comparing the scan file to the mesh file and it also gives you some statistical information on the deviation and if you want a specific tolerance you can type it in here I'm gonna go with 0.1 and every time you make a change it's good practice to click recalculate and the software will show you the color map based off of your settings another cool feature is whenever you hover over the mesh on a color map the software will give you the deviation at that specific point so you can hover around and see all the different deviations on the part. In fact, one of the reasons why I reverse engineered it is because it was a broken part and it was warped in several areas. If you'd like to see the minimum and maximum points of deviation, you can click on this feature here and it'll create a couple tags for you showing you the lowest and highest points of deviation. You can also edit or erase those tags if you need to. And if you like what you see, you click on Save Map and now the distance map is listed under your measures tab. So that was a 3D comparison tool. But if you wanted to compare these two using a 2D profile, you can do that as well by clicking on section analysis. And for this, you can click on one of the CAD faces and create a 2D cross section. You can click on this arrow and drag it up or down and click calculate. And once you do that, the software will create a 2D comparison profile using whiskers. Just like in the previous feature, you can hover over the points and see the deviations. If you want to change the size of the whiskers, you can toggle this feature left to right. And as you can see, the whiskers get larger. You also get some statistics on this deviation analysis as well. And if you like what you see, you can click on Save and Exit. And now, both of your analysis tools show up in the Measures tab. And that's how you create a distance map and a section analysis in Arctic Studio 18. Thank you for watching.